Welcome to the Mighty Sites YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a website on the platform for your brewery. If you've just stumbled across this video and you aren't familiar with Mighty Sites, Mighty Sites is the easiest way to launch a website. You can literally launch your own website in less than a minute. It's really affordable. It's only going to cost you $9 a month. There is a free trial available for seven days. So click on the link below this video, sign up for the free trial and give it a go and see how it works for you and your small business. The great thing about the free trial is you don't have to put your credit card details in like most other online services today. Um, so give it a go. So let's get cracking building a website for our brewery. Once you've signed up on the platform, it's going to go ahead and ask you to search for your markets over here. We have hundreds of different markets to choose from. However, if you've just randomly come across this video and you don't even have a brewery, you have another side hustle or small business, and you can't quite find it listed, can't quite find it listed here, that's completely okay. We are adding more every single week. But do comment below and let us know, and we will make sure we add that market. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and search for brewery over here, and there it is over there. I'm now gonna select that option. Great, so now Mighty Sites is going to ask us a few basic details about our brewery just so it can get a little bit more information and launch our one-page website for me. It's going to do all the hard work. All I need to do is input a few basic details. So let's go ahead and put in our company name. I'm going to call it Rochelle's Brewery. I'm now going to put in my city and my state or region. It doesn't matter where in the world you're located, you can use the Mighty Sites service. We have customers from all around the globe. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and select the type of business. You can choose from restaurant, retail, service, or other. However, for this one, I'm going to select retail because at my brewery, I have a retail shop selling beer. I do beer tastings and stuff like that. So I'm going to select retail so I can put the hours of my opening of my brewery and the beer shop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Great. Let's tell Marty Sites a little bit more details about Rochelle's Brewery. I'm now going to put in my phone number over here so customers can easily get in touch. And my phone number and my email address. Awesome. Let's move along. Click on continue. Okay, where is my brewery located? Let's go ahead and put in our street address. And I'm now going to put in my postal code and click on continue. Great. Let's get the hours set up of our brewery the, that it's open. I'm going to say on a Monday I'm open from 11 a.m. That seems like a suitable time to start drinking beer. And I'm going to say we close at 10 p.m. We are also open on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Let's say we closed on Sundays. Okay, I'm going to say I'm closed on a Sunday. Awesome, let's do a quick review. Check it out, check if your address is all correct and your physical location and your hours, your trading hours. If you need to make any amendments, click on update location or updates hours. But everything looks pretty good to me. I'm going to click on next and Marty Sites is doing its thing. It's literally generating a one-page website for me. And there you have it. It's literally launched a website for me. The beauty of Mighty Sites is we've pre-selected all the images for you. We've pre-written all the contents. We wanted to make it as easy as possible when it comes to launching a website for your brewery. However, if these images selected don't quite work for your business, content that is written needs to be amended, that's completely okay. You can change everything to suit your business needs. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through each section from the top to the bottom, just so you can have a little bit of a look and feel of how the Marty Sites service works. It's really easy. You don't need to know any website coding. You don't need to be a web developer. You don't need a huge budget for a web developer either. It's only going to cost you $9 a month. But remember, there is a free trial available for seven days. So click on the link below this video and try it out. So I'm going to start from the top and work my way through. I'm first going to click on update section at the top here. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to click on show email on site. My email is now displayed on the top right hand corner of my Mighty Sites page next to my phone number that is clicked to call so customers can easily get in contact with me. Let's make sure we save that and move on to update social links. 
Cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in um, our Instagram page and our Twitter page. Feel free to give us a follow on social media, drop us a message and let us know how the service is working for you. Your social media icons will now be displayed on the top right hand corner next to your email address. They are easy to click, click on so your customers can click on them and be taken directly to your social accounts to see what your brewery is up to, what events you're hosting, give you a follow. Let's go ahead and save that. There is an option for LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook as well. However, if there's any other social media platforms you'd like us to add, comment below. Let us know. Awesome. Let's go ahead and close that. Now, perhaps the colors used throughout your website just don't quite work for you. These colors have been pre-selected for you, um, but perhaps it doesn't quite go with your branding or brewery. However, I think it's a really good choice. This is very suitable for a brewery, but perhaps yours completely different, and that's okay. You don't need to know any color coding. Um, you don't need to Google how do, I, how do I find the codes for different colors for website development. No need to do that. Let's click on the paint bucket on the bottom right hand corner of our Marty Sites page and just go through, go through the various color palettes. I really like this one for a brewery as well. So I'm going to automatically go ahead and select that one and save it. Great. So now let's move on to the next section. I'm going to click on update section over here and now I'm going to head to update logo. If you don't quite have a logo yet, that's completely okay. Marty Sites will display your name here. However, if you do have a logo, you can go ahead and browse from your device and upload it. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the Marty Sites logo. Awesome. Let's get that saved. Great, look at that, it looks really awesome. We can make it bigger and smaller by adjusting it over here by customized logo. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger and leave it like that. That looks awesome. Let me go ahead and save it and click on close. Now, as I mentioned before, pre-written content for you to make your life as easy as possible when it comes to launching a website. Images pre-selected, um, however, if you want to amend it, all we need to do is click on update section we can head to update image over here and you can browse from your device if you have really professional looking images of your brewery already. However, you can search through the photo library and Marty sites will automatically search for photos for you from a library. There are hundreds to choose from and they are all free to use, license free, royalty free. Just play around with the terms a little bit. So as you can see for brewery, it didn't quite pick up anything. So what I would go ahead and do is try beer because you serve awesome beers at your brewery. Great. So these are all very applicable. So I'm going to go ahead and select, that's the one I previously used. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one over here. I really like that one. Great, I'm now going to select that photo and save my image selection. And there you have it. That looks really cool. Happy with that one. Now I'm going to go to update contents over here. I can amend this to suit my business needs. Um, and perhaps you don't even do beer tasting. Perhaps you just want people to view your menu um, because you offer beer uh, snacks with the beers or something. You have a little restaurant on site. So I'm going to go ahead and say view our menu um, and choose the link. So that's where this button over here is linking to. We can link to another website. We can link to another part of our Marty Sites website. Perhaps you want to link to the lead form at the bottom, which I'm going to get to in just a second. Otherwise, you can put actions like directions to your physical location or click to call. But I'm going to go ahead and update a PDF file, upload one. This is my favorite option with the Marty Sites pages. I'm going to click on update a new file and update my menu because at my brewery I do have a little restaurant on site that offers different snacks and different beer options as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click confirm and save that and now when my customers click on that button it will directly take them to the menu. Let's go ahead and close that. Over here, again, another section that is amendable if this text just doesn't work for you, the copy that was pre-written for you. Um, 
and on to the next section, the about us section. Here's where you can display an awesome image of your brewery. If you don't have one, feel free to select one from the photo library. But over here, I just put in a little bit more details of how your brewery came to be, what you offer, do you have private tours, what your customers um, can buy at the brewery, a little, maybe a little bit of history of it. Put all the details over here. Your customers would love to know how your brewery got started. Great, on to the next section over here, another awesome place to display a high quality image if you have one, otherwise search from the free photo options in the library. Over here, we've reached our services section. Over here, you can put a little bit more details of the different services you offer, what you've got going on at the brewery. So over here, we've got on Sundays, we host live music. If you have anything like that, live music, all the different kinds of foods you serve. Maybe on a Friday, you do a barbecue day um, where customers can bring their own meats and private brewery tours and tasting, stuff like that. Put all the details over here and put your image over here by selecting update section. Now we've made our way onto the last section of our Marcy Sites page, the get in touch form. Over here, your customers can literally type a message and their details and submit it and get in touch with you. You will get notified by email when you get a lead from this form. You will also find all the leads in the dashboard, which I will take you to in just a second. I'm just going to go through one more time my Marty Sites page, give you a little glimpse of what I've just created in literally less than 10 minutes. It's absolutely amazing. Everything looks very professional, high quality. It was so easy to customize. And remember, it's only $9 a month, free trial available, very easy to use, no coding required. Great, so I'm going to head to the top here and I'm going to click on stop editing. I'm now going to click on go to site dashboard. Great, so I'm now at the site dashboard and over here is where you can find all your leads for your brewery that the, your customers have contacted you via that form. Remember, you'll also get notified via email. You can also link your custom domain on your Marty Sites page. We understand that the professional website comes a custom domain. So go ahead and click on connect a domain here. If you're struggling, there is a YouTube tutorial available and also blog posts over at www.marcysites.com as well as some great marketing tips for your small business. I really hope this tutorial was helpful in showing you how to build a website for your brewery. I wish your business mighty success. Cheers.